The system works with the help of an Arduino board, two XP modules, and a custom design sheet. The rover is controlled from a software running on a laptop. And the software not only lets you control the movements of the rover, but also can receive sensor data from the onboard sensors, process them, and then display them on the screen. The rover can go through grassy patches and can execute special terrains like the stairs with the help of its servo mechanism. And with some practice, it can be made to go through stairs up to a height of 150 mm. The track wheel mechanism gives the rover ability to go through muddy and gravel filled terrain and execute the task assigned to it. This is the software used to control the rover and before you use it you need to select the COM port on which XP is connected. Once you do that you will start receiving the sensor data in the relevant fields. And next we will see various features of this system. The buttons displayed on the graphical user interface are mapped with the buttons on the keyboard. And pressing a button on a keyboard makes the rover make a maneuver. The rover can go over the hurdles and can ascend and descend the stairs up to a certain height using a servo mechanism. The mechanism lets the rover increase its effective length and manage its orientation to overcome difficult terrain. The mechanism is controlled by sending wireless commands from the graphical user interface. The rover has an onboard temperature sensor which lets it measure the temperature of the place where it is and then send the data wirelessly to the graphical user interface. And here you can see if we, if we bring a hot soldering iron near the sensor, the temperature is rising. And if we take away the soldering iron, the temperature starts falling back. There is also an MQ2 gas sensor on board which is sensitive to LPG, isobutane, propane, methane, alcohol, hydrogen and smoke. And the rover keeps on sending the gas sensor data to the graphical user interface. And whenever the value is above the prescribed limit, there is a voice and a visual alert. And you can listen here, there was a voice alert. And whenever value comes down, there is again an alert. Gas levels within safe limits. The rover has a Hall effect sensor inside its chassis. And using the data from this sensor, we can measure the distance traveled and the RPM of the motor. Here you can see the trip says 0 cm. And here we have two scales each of length 30 cm placed back to back and we are going to run this rover for a distance of 60 cm and the rover will send its Hall effect sensor data to the graphical user interface software running on the laptop and the software will run an algorithm on that data and will display the distance traveled by the rover. There is also a pan and tilt mechanism on board and based on the wireless commands received from the GUI, the two servos orient the camera in a precise particular orientation to have a good view of the subject.
in case you need to throw some light on a subject there is an onboard LED headlamp and you can turn it on by sending a wireless command and if you toggle this button on the GUI the lights will go on and similarly you can turn it off by switching this button. You can also take a picture of the subject if you would like to by clicking this snapshot feature. You can see here a snapshot has been created which has the snapshot of the GUI with the subject in the picture and this information can be used in variety of ways. Now the changes in the sensory values can be exported to a CSV file by clicking this export and exit button and a file will be found inside the data folder. Now let's export this. You can see here a mission data file is created. Double click on this file. This file will be opened in Excel. And here you can see all the sensor data is in its respective columns. You know, and we have the sensor data record of every second. Now you can see here initially the rover was at rest, so the RPM and trip are at zero and the temperature values are the only values that have the non-zero values then when we set the rover to motion you can see the rpm value is rising and fluctuating and the trip value is increasing gradually and then it comes to a constant value and the one here in the gas column represents the time when we brought a gas creating thing near the gas sensor. Now we can plot this data in and can analyze. We insert a graph will be formed and here you can see the temperature value initially rise then it became constant and you can see the trip it gradually increased and then became constant after we stopped the rover